Back for months, we've been talking about problems with trash pickup in Bibb County. One issue you've been talking to us about broken trash carts. Now, some people point to the new automated trash trucks launched by Advanced Disposal. Epicosaurus investigates whether the effort to save money by switching to these kind of trucks is causing the damage. You see, this was the old one. See, this is the new one. Wanda McNair's old trash can. Bench right there has a crack. Uh, the arm tends to bend the garbage can and sometimes that causes it to split down the side. She's frustrated saying the trash company doesn't always come when it's supposed to and then when it does come it's her can that gets trashed. The city doesn't care. I really do. I feel like the city doesn't care. We found more than 1,000 open records requests for the new trash carts in Bibb County. So we wanted to investigate, are the new automated trash trucks with the robotic lift arms causing the problem? Before the automated arm truck started at the end of 2016, the city of Macon received 2,244 requests in 2015, and then 2,760 by the end of 2016. After the full fleet was changed out, the county received even more requests, 2,880 in 2017, and in 2018, 3,713. Uh, it's more effective, it's more efficient. The city contracts with advanced disposal for trash pickup. Jordan Scott says the old trucks with two employees on them average 600 to 700 cans a day. Now the automated side loaders with the one person on board can collect closer to 1,100. Scott says there's another advantage you can't put a price on. Trucks and, and cars zooming by you, you know, there's thousands of deaths every year uh, in this industry. Actually, according to the Solid Waste Association of North America, 38 trash truck drivers were killed on the job in 2017. One of those workers, one of Scott's drivers, killed right here in Macon. He says the safety of his workers is more important than a $50 can. Advanced Disposal is now taking over cart replacements, and Scott says once they take care of all the county's backlog requests, they'll be able to replace carts they break within a week. I don't think that they really know what we need. McNair hopes the change of service will bring more reliable pickups and no longer having to spend months dealing with broken cans. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Scott says they've replaced 20 to 30 carts each day since they took over cart replacement responsibility in November. Says if you have a broken cart, you can report it using the C-Click Fix app. You can find a link to that site at 13WMAZ.com.